wanted to turn the crowd up, you know. We had our fans come out and support. So yeah, I wanted, it was nice. And you and Sam Greer matched up in the middle. That's a big football guy. Yeah. You're long and lanky, he's pretty wide. What was that matchup like trying to get around him? <laughs> It's a dog fight down here. And our fans came out. I mean, there's nothing more we can ask. They came out, they packed the house. Uh, we was worried about it being a road game, but they showed up for sure. How much of an equalizer was it? Because they short drive for them. It was also still boisterous from their side, being just a trip I, I down mean, the street for them. I could not believe our fans. Our fans, I mean, they came out. I mean, I, I could say we had just admit, more, if not just as many as they did. So, I mean, it was big because I look at it as a road game. That's one of the, the reasons I put Reynolds Bird on our schedule um, because I thought we had a state uh, final four team to be able to go down there and play them on their court. I thought that was huge. Things like that help us for times like this now. I feel crazy. You know, we had like, fan buses. You know, my dad was working on that in the school. You know, so that was, I thank them for that. It was a big time for sure. I was talking to Carter, you know I mean? a little banged up. We were both in fall trouble, but at the same time, we both been in the state. So I'm so always home, like I need you. Man, came through on the layup. On defense, I have four, he have four. But one of us had to guard him. He wanted the challenge, took a big charge. But just believing in my teammates, and they came through for me, came through for us. You go now to that Elite Eight where you got last year. Does last season serve as a lesson that you might? might reflect on as you head out to Toledo this weekend. Hey, for sure, because we're coming in with, with the edge, because last year Toledo came down here and they beat us. And now we're going on to Toledo. So we're looking to, to kill. And we're just looking to go in and get the dub. We know we got to go to Toledo and win, you know, so we know it's going to be tough for us. We just got to go down there, with, you know, with a chip on our shoulder and get the win. Mar Marcus was... Marcus was elite today, like on both ends of the floor. He was just, he was just special. I mean, every time we needed a big bucket, he gave it to us. Did you know, it, so that's what that's what these guys do. Was he feeding off of CJ? Because I mean, CJ is like a broken record. What he means to you guys? And he, oh yeah, CJ, so CJ, CJ. You don't find too many guys that the puzzle puzzles fit. And we have those type of guys. Everything fits. Everybody knows what they do and well for the team. And you know, CJ, CJ's our heart. CJ defense. I mean. Him and Marcus today uh, check, check the best players. I mean, uh, Marcus jumped on Kenny from the second quarter up into the fourth, and CJ had uh, Jonah. I mean, so I mean, those guys right there are—they're they, a harder saw.